Maayong adlaw sa inyong tanan. I am Pretty May. And I'm El Yezer. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our UPOU, UPOU Student, Student Orientation, Orientation Program 2022. Amidst the circumstances, we hope for everybody's safety and wellness today. We will be your hosts for today's activity. We are also live stream at the UPOU Networks and Facebook page. To start the program, let us pause what we are doing, stand, and let us sing the Philippine National Anthem. Before we proceed with the program, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the university officials, faculty, reps, and staff members who are with us today. Dahil sa inyo, kaya naging posible ang programang ito. Maraming salamat po. Yes, we are truly thankful for your support amid this pandemic. We are called to participate in this wonderful virtual activity for us to know more about the university, the University of the Philippines Open University. All right now, as many of you would have noticed, UPOU is the only constituent unit of the UP system that is purely online. Our classrooms are in virtual space, but we do have a physical campus and a virtual tour was prepared for us. UPOU officials and staff will share more information and knowledge about the different features, services, and programs that our university has to offer. Yes, as well as the offices that can help you throughout your academic journey. But before that, let us listen first to the University of the Philippines President, Danilo L. Concepcion for his welcoming remarks to the new students of UPOU. Isang taos puso at mainit na pagbati po sa inyong lahat. Malugod namin kayong tinatanggap bilang mga freshman dito sa ating universidad. Mapapalad kayong lahat sapagkat sa halos isang daang libong estudyante na nag-apply upang makapasok dito, kayo ay kabilang sa halos labing isang libo lamang na aming tinanggap. Hindi po kaya ng universidad na tumanggap ng mas marami pa. Sigurado ako na sa eskwelahan na pinanggalingan ninyo, kayo ay sumikat nang lumabas ang resulta ng UP na kasama kayo sa mga pasado. Subalit kailangan sigurong bigyan ko kayo ng babala na hindi madali ang mag-aral at makatapos sa UP. Marami kayong dapat pag-aralan sapagkat marami kayong dapat matutunan. Sana ay makasabay at mapagtagumpayan ninyo ang mga hirap na inyong pagdadaanan. Tunay mahirap pumasok sa UP Subalit, madali namang makik out dito. Kung sumikat kayo noong kayo ay nakapasok, siguradong sisikat din kayo pag kayo ay nakik out. Malaking adjustment ang kailangan ninyong gawin sa inyong pagtahak sa inyong bagong buhay kolehiyo. Sa umpisa pa lamang ay mararamdaman na ninyo kaagad 
ang malaking pinagkaiba ng buhay high school sa buhay ng isang isko o iska dito sa universidad. Kami ay naniniwala na kaya ninyong gawin ang mga adjustments na ito. Dito sa ating campus, mararanasan ninyo ang kakaibang buhay ng isang isko at iska. Dito niyo mararanasan ang mayamang cultural life gaya ng musika, pagkain, arte at dulaan na sinisikap naming maging bahagi ng inyong pang-araw-araw na buhay. Marahil dito sa campus na kayo magkakaroon ng boyfriend o girlfriend. Tingnan ninyo ang mga katabi ninyo. At baka sila na ang mapapangasawa ninyo o babasted sa inyo. Dito sa campus ninyo malalaman kung hanggang saan ang inyong kakayahan at dito rin ninyo mahuhulaan kung anong uri ng kinabukasan ang inyong nais para sa inyong mga sarili. Subalit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, huwag ninyong kalilimutan na may pananagutan ang isang isko at iska sa bayan. Sigurado ako na nakita na ninyo ang ribulto ng oblation dito sa ating campus. Ribulto ng isang taong nakahubad, nakadipa, at nakatingala sa langit na buong lugod na nag-aalay ng kanyang buong sarili, buong sarili at pagkatao sa bayan. Ito ang sinasagisag ng oblation, pag-aalay ng sarili sa bayan. Sana ay isabuhay ninyo ang sagisag na ito. Sana sa tuwing papasok kayo sa campus, inyong maiisip na kayo at ang ribulto ng oblation ay iisa, na kayo ang bawat isa sa inyo ang siyang nagsasabuhay sa oblation. Ngayon, nagagalak kaming makita ang bawat isa sa inyo dito sa campus. Sa patuloy na pag-angkop natin sa panahon, makakasiguro kayong isinasaisip namin ang kapakanan ng bawat isa sa inyo sa lahat ng aspeto. Ituring ninyong pangalawang tahanan ng UP, ang pinakamahusay na universidad sa bansa at kinikilala na isa sa mga pinakamahusay sa buong mundo. Dito kayo matututo at makikilala ng inyong mga kaakbay habang binabaybay ang landas ng isang iskolar ng bayan. Dito ninyo matutuklasan ang iba't ibang aspeto ng inyong mga sarili lalo na ang inyong mga lakas at kahinaan. Dito rin mahuhubog ang inyong karakter at pagkatao. Sa mga hamong haharapin ninyo, hindi lamang sa mga usaping pang-akademiko, kung hindi sa harap na rin ng katotohanan na nararanasan ng bawat taong makikilala ninyo dito sa universidad. Mula sa mga kaklase, guro at administrative staff, technicians, security guard at custodial workers, at sa lahat ng makakasalamuhan ninyo sa loob at labas ng campus, tiyak na may aral na kayo ay mapupulot. Buksan ninyo ang inyong puso't isip. Tandaan ninyo na dito sa UP, Discrimination is not acceptable. Kaya ito ang payo ko sa inyo. Mag-aral kayong mabuti, subalit huwag naman ninyong ikahon ang inyong mga sarili. Sumali kayo sa mga orgs, lumahok sa mga outreach programs, at matutong magmahal sa kapwa sa iba't ibang paraan. Dito sa UP, kayang-kaya natin yan. You have the freedom to craft your own journey. Sabi nga nila, papunta pa lamang tayo sa exciting part. Bilang huling paalala, nais kong idiin ang pagsasapuso sa ating tradisyon ng dangal at husay. Sa pag-aaral, sa paglilingkod, sa lahat ng gawain, malaki man o maliit, 
Tandaan, ang honor and excellence. Ito ang tatak UP. Gawin ninyong inspirasyon ang ating mga frontline workers, ang mga manggagamot, nurses, health workers, guro, mananaliksik, at non-teaching staff sa buong UP system. Walang makakapantay sa kanilang sakripisyo ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Kayo ang magiging bagong henerasyon ng mga scholar ng bayan para sa bayan. Ang mga tagapagtaguyod ng iba't ibang larangan sa loob at labas ng ating bansa. Inaasahan namin kayo at kayo rin ay makakaasang narito lamang kami upang gumabay at umalalay. Muli, maligayang pagdating sa UP, mabuhay kayo mga scholar ng bayan. Thank you for your words of encouragement, UP President Concepcion. Moving forward, let us hear some words of wisdom from Dr. Melinda de la Peña Bandalaria, the UPOU Chancellor. Isang mainit na pagsalubong sa mga bagong scholar ng bayan ng UP Open University na patuloy na lumalaban hindi lamang sa pandemya, kung hindi pati na din sa iba pang sakit ng lipunan tulad ng kahirapan at hindi pagkapantay-pantay ng mga mamamayan. Our warm welcome to all of you. In the face of the fast modernization of technologies associated with work and living, it is not enough for a scholar ng bayan like you to just learn about the lessons in the courses that you will enroll in. These lessons may be obsolete after some time, but such knowledge can still be your strong foundation for your lifelong journey, which is essential in the 21st century and as part of the workforce in the fourth and the fifth industrial revolutions. Your choice to be a distance e-learning student puts you in an education ecosystem which capitalizes on the synergy of the knowledge and skills which you need to complete the requirements of your courses and subsequently your degree program. They may seem to be just incidental to your process of learning of what is supposed to count for your degree completion, but they are as important in the context of skills for the present and the future. As new scholars ng bayan in a distance e-learning system, your learning journey will not be easy. There will be lots of challenges along the way as you continue to develop being an independent learner, your time management skills, and a higher level of self-responsibility and accountability, traits that we observe among graduates of UPOU. As I always say, to our new students on their first day of classes and orientation, when the going gets rough, just think, sasablay din ako. If at this point you still don't know the meaning of the phrase, sasablay din ako, you will soon learn about it, and for sure, you will look forward to it. As students of UPOU, your mode of instruction is online all the way, but this should not prevent you from having face-to-face -face meetings with your classmates, with your group mates, even with your teachers. Why not? Especially if they are essential for you to achieve the learning outcomes set for your courses and your degree program. Socialization is, of course, a valid reason for these face-to-face meetings, for we believe that learner-learner interaction, whatever the modality is, can contribute to the learning process. As you start your program at UPOU, Remember that in this era, when online learning seems to be the mode for most higher education institutions, you are with the best. Again, welcome to UPOU. Thank you so much for the thoughtful message, Chancellor. Now you guys might wonder what it's like being a student at UPOU. Does it have a facility? Where is it physically situated? Please stay tuned as we play a video prepared especially for new and upcoming students. The tour will take you throughout the UPLU campus. The University of the Philippines Open University is one of the constituent units of the UP system. It was established on February 23, 1995. 
UPOU pioneered in online teaching and learning, and it continues to lead in the study and practice of open learning and distance education in the Philippines and in the Asian region. From 1995 to early 1999, UPOU offices were housed in various UP campuses. Before 1999 ended, the majority of the UPOU offices moved to its own campus in Los Baños, Laguna, beside its sister university, UP Los Baños. The UPOU campus is housed in a 23.18 hectare of land awarded by the UP Board of Regents in 1996 at its 1097 meeting. UPOU's headquarters can be easily accessed through the Los Baños National Highway. Its landmark is the UPOU seal and the statues of men and women in an art installation called The Culture of Sharing Wisdom. This was conceptualized, designed, and sculptured by Dr. Grace Javier Alfonso, the third chancellor of UPOU. To the right of the sculpture is the UPOU Community Hub, which serves as a venue for interaction, training, idea generation, and sharing among members of the UPOU community and UPOU's immediate public. It houses the following UPOU offices. Office of Public Affairs and Souvenir Shop, the Multimedia Center, the Ognayan ng Pahinungot UPOU, the Office of Student Affairs, and the Office of Gender Concerns. The building also has the following function areas, Galeria Sinag, and Paok Ognayan. At the entrance of the UPOU campus is the Oblation Park. At the park center is the UPOU Oblation Interactive Sculpture. The interactive sculpture stands on a pedestal and appears to be lifted by a swirling ribbon. This ribbon symbolizes the Philippine flag, with stars around it signifying Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It raises the oblation to greater heights which represents the university's ultimate goal of widening access to education. The UPOU oblation, which is a replica of Guillermo Tolentino's UP oblation, was conceptualized and sculpted by Dr. Grace Javier Alfonso. Surrounding the UPOU oblation are four lagoons. This represents the core values of UPOU, which are excellence, equity, efficiency, and humanism. It is in the oblation park where the UPOU had been holding its commencement exercises for almost 15 years. The building right after the park is the UPOU administration building. It is the first building constructed in the campus. At the lobby of the building is the abstract rendition of the oblation, which is entirely made of wood and crafted using traditional woodworking techniques. The UPOU main building housed the different academic and administrative offices. At the first floor is the UPOU library, registrar's office. At the second floor are the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, UPOU Audiovisual Room, and Multimedia Center Studio. At the third floor of the building are the Office of the Chancellor, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Behind the UPOU Administration Building is a small park called The Walk. The walk is a network of paths designed to promote exploration of nature and active lifestyle among the members of the UPOU community. The benches in the park were made of recycled materials from old water closets of the administration building. On the right side of the main building are the teaching and learning hub. The TLH housed the three faculty offices of UPOU, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and Faculty of Management and Development Studies. On the left of the Administration Building is the Instructional Materials Development and Printing Office or IMDPO Building. It also has a multi-purpose function room called the Oblation Hall. It is the area where Puting Ople is. Next to the IMDPO Building is the UPOU Multi-Purpose Hall a gym-like area for outdoor and recreational activities of the university. Right next to this hall is the Centennial Plaza. In the middle of the plaza is the Centennial Marker. 
a metal sculpture created by Philippine national artist Mr. Napoleon V. Apueva. The sculpture is called The Pursuit of Education, which symbolizes education in all forms for the building and strengthening of communities and the Filipino nation. Right next to the plaza is the Centennial Center for Digital Learning Building, where Learners Hall, UPOU Sandbox, the CCDL Auditorium, and the Campus Maintenance and Development Office are located. Further down the road is the newly constructed Academic Residences, a three-story building that is intended to accommodate UPOU students, staff, faculty members, and guests who are doing academic and administrative activities in the campus. A number of additional buildings inside the campus are now in various stages of construction. The International Convention Center is envisioned to serve as a primary venue for international and national conferences for open and distance e-learning and other similar undertakings. The UPOU Learning Commons, an expansion of the Teaching and Learning Hub, shall soon house the UPOU Library. The Multimedia Center building shall serve as the development and production hub of multimedia learning materials. It shall have audio and video recording studios, video conferencing rooms, training rooms, and maker space. Thank you for joining the UPOU virtual tour. We're looking forward to having you with us on campus soon. Have a great day. Excited na ba ang lahat? Being a student in the UPOU is both a joy and a challenge, especially in these trying times. UPOU is one of the youngest units of the UP system. It has been around for 27 years. It was established on February 23, 1995, just as when the internet is about to be introduced. So imagine then how UPOU students studied as distance learners. Sounds exciting, and I hope to learn more about the nitty-gritty of the university. The University of the Philippines Open University, or UPOU, is one of the constituent universities of the University of the Philippines system. The governance of the National University is vested in the Board of Regents of the University of the Philippines System. The UP system is headed by the UP President, who serves as the Chief Academic Officer of the University. The UP Open University, as an autonomous unit, is managed by a set of university officials headed by the Chancellor. The UPOU Chancellor performs the overall management, supervision, and administration of UPOU with the help of various UPOU offices under the major offices the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Academic Affairs, the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration, and the Faculty Offices, the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and the Faculty of Management and Development Studies. The heads of the various UPOU offices, together with the UPOU faculty and staff, strive hard to provide timely, flexible and seamless support services to its students through the various activities, initiatives, and programs of the university. The Office of the Chancellor, or OC, is headed by the Chancellor. The office performs the overall management, supervision, and administration of UPOU. It sets the strategic direction of UPOU to perform its functions, accomplish its mandate as stated in its vision, mission, and goal statements as defined under the Republic Act 9500 or the UP Charter of 2008, as well as the Republic Act 10650 or the Open and Distance Learning Act of 2014. Under the Office of the Chancellor are seven offices, namely Budget Office, Office of Public Affairs or OPA, Information and Communication Technology Development Office or ICTDO, Multimedia Center or MC, Office of Gender Concerns or OGC, the Office of Legal Counsel, and the Ugnayan ng Pahinungod. 
One of the main units under the Chancellor's Office is the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs or OVCAA. Under OVCAA are four offices. OVCAA is headed by the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. The office supports the Chancellor in monitoring and coordinating instructional, curricular, research, extension, library, and other academic-related programs in UPOU. The offices under the supervision of the OVCAA are the following. The Office of the University Registrar or OUR, the Office of the Academic Support and Instructional Services or OASIS, the Office of Student Affairs or OSA, and the University Library. Another main unit of the Chancellor's Office is the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration or OVCFA. OVCFA is headed by the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration. The office supervises the university's financial, physical, and human resources. It particularly oversees the following offices, namely the Accounting Office, the Campus Development and Maintenance Office or CDMO, the Cash Office, the Human Resources Development Office or HRDO, and the Supply and Property Management Office or SPMO. Let us now proceed to the Faculties of Studies. UPOU has three faculty offices. These are the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and the Faculty of Management and Development Studies. Each faculty is headed by a dean and assisted by the secretary to the faculty. The academic programs are managed by the program chairs. Programs offered by the three faculties can be accessed through their respective websites. The Faculty of Education or FED is mandated to offer degree programs in teacher training as well as design and deliver relevant degree and non-degree programs that are responsive to the needs of teacher education. FED particularly aims to support a culture of continuous learning that will sustain professional growth and advance lifelong learning through degree and non-degree programs as well as instructional packages especially designed for distance learners. The Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, or FICS, specializes in Information and Communication Studies. It actively participates in the development of integrated, innovative, and socially relevant information and communication sciences in Southeast Asia. Moreover, it aims to spearhead effective practices using information and communication technologies through proactive extension programs that respond to the needs of the development sector. The Faculty of Management and Development Studies, or FMDS, handles policy, program and development concerns related to research and development, land valuation, environment and natural resources management, nursing, international health, public management, and social work. Over time, these areas of study have become the teaching, research, extension, and public service areas of FMDS. Guided by the tagline, Pamantasang Bukas para sa Magandang Bukas, UPOU administrators, faculty, and staff are committed to teaching and learning, research and innovation, public service, and governance and administration that are underpinned by the principles of scholarship and academic excellence, inclusivity and equity, responsiveness and social relevance, collaboration and community, and sustainable development for all. Wow, I see that UPOU has already expanded. Yes, Pretty May. Moreover, there have been numerous developments and progress within the university. It branched out new, innovative, and helpful services for new, upcoming, or even continuing students. Sige nga, I'd love to hear some of the tools and services that can help me with my journey at the university. The UP Open University has been delivering quality higher education for more than 25 years. This is done through Open and Distance E-Learning, or ODEL, 
to Filipinos and foreign students based in more than 70 countries all over the world. To assist the other students in their learning needs, UPOU provides various learner support services. But first, what is learner support? Learner support, or sometimes called student support, is the services provided to students to cope with the demands of learning. In UPOU, there are three levels of support. These are university slash institutional level support, faculty slash program level support, and course level support. The institutional learner support in UPOU is provided by various offices under the Office of the Chancellor, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and faculty offices. These are information support, learner intake support, administrative support, technological support, study skills assistance, counseling, library support, support to students with disabilities, student rights and gender considerations, learner satisfaction monitoring and environmental scanning, and examination and test services. Information support is one such support. This starts once an individual browses the various UPOU websites, UPOU help desk, and social media pages and sends inquiries about the university. UPOU ensures that the information given is complete, accurate, and updated so that they will find the information they need. On the other hand, learner intake support is provided for newly admitted students. This is again provided remotely. UPOU admitted student applicants are given detailed information on how to apply, to enroll or register, on documents to submit, on the important dates to remember, on the details related to payment of fees, and available financial assistance. Another important component of the learner intake support is the UPOU virtual orientation for new students, where students are provided more information about UPOU, the UPOU virtual classroom, the life of an online learner, among others. Aside from academic-related supports, a UPOU student is provided with various administrative supports, which are usually provided by the Office of the University Registrar, or OUR, and by the Secretary to the Faculty. The OUR provides the following admission and graduation administrative support, application for admission, semestral registration, record keeping, student information management, online grades, and graduation-related matters. For other administrative matters related to student support, the UPOU Secretary to the Faculty will assist the students. As UPOU is a purely online university, technological support is also provided. This includes support on email account issuance, learning management systems, academic information management system, various software and services, and technological support through an online help desk system. For assistance related to any of UPOU online system, please email techsupport at upou.edu.ph. UPOU provides e-learners with the following study skills assistance by teaching students how to find reliable learning resources, make critical analysis of online information slash resources, improve reading comprehension, annotate online resources, write papers, research papers, cite sources, and avoid plagiarism. Resources can be found at the UPOU networks and UPOU library. UPOU has an online psychosocial support hub to help students cope with various kinds of stress and issues related to their studies. When needed, e-learners are referred to undergo counseling. For inquiries about personal, social and emotional support and career guidance, send an email to counseling at upou.edu.ph. The University Library has maximized the affordances of the current online library services and resources to cater to the information needs of the UPOU students and faculty and staff members wherever they are. Support for differently abled students. The university has also put in place support to make learning more inclusive, especially for students who are differently abled. 
assistive learning technologies and alternative formats for learning and assessment materials are considered during the preparation of learning materials. Student support at UPOU is also gender responsive and upholds student rights. Students who would like to report gender issues and sexual harassment can report through here. Code of conduct is followed and acknowledgement of ownership of knowledge, intellectual property, honesty, and integrity are always considered. Learner satisfaction monitoring and environmental scanning are also put in place to increase students' program completion and success rate. OSA also offers examination services program, which takes charge of the overall administration and delivery of proctored academic examinations done at UPOU designated examination venues or via online. At the program support level, the UPOU students shall be walked through the program or course planning. This includes information and program requirements. Program advising is provided by the program chair. The third and last level of support is course level support. Course level support is provided by the faculty in charge or FIC of the course. With these student support services available at UPOU, we hope that you can adapt easily to the requirements of being a distance e-learner. We hope you'll enjoy your learning journey with UPOU. That's a lot, new student. I hope you are still with us, all right? We still have a few things we want you to be oriented with. By the way, Eliezer, there were a lot of support groups discussed in the video. Actually, Pretty May, the UPOU Peer Support Group provides psychosocial and mental wellness support to students since we're mostly online. UPOU is currently preparing and orienting peer support groups. Right, Eliezer. By the way, this might be a lot to, you know, process for everyone. I wonder if there is a website, platform, or perhaps a page that contains all this information? Sure, Pretty May. We have a forum-style page in UPOU My Portal that can be a helpful tool to orient you with materials you can use throughout your academic journey. You may access information regarding your course and other educational resources in the portal. Welcome to the University of the Philippines Open University, or UPOU. As new students of UPOU, we will orient you with the necessary information and processes you need to know as part of your journey at the university. The student orientation site, which is found in my portal, will serve as your orientation material to know more about your university and how open and distance e-learning or ODEL works. It will also assist you in how to cope with your studies and orient you with the different programs and student services available. In this video, we will walk you through the student orientation site. First, you need to log into my portal. The UPOU student orientation will be one of your enrolled courses. The first information you will see at the site is about UPOU and open and distance e-learning. You may watch the short videos about UPOU and about the ODEL framework in order to be more familiar about UPOU and its mode of teaching and learning. You will also be given tips on how to be organized as a distance learner and the needed online study skills to get you ready in your studies. Let us discuss the different support services and platforms that will help you in your study. The first support services you have availed of even before you became an official student of the university is information support. Information support is provided through the UPOU website, ticketing services, automated support, and social media pages. Let's discuss my portal. My portal is your virtual classroom where you can access all your courses and other relevant information needed in your studies. It is where you interact with your faculty in charge or FIC and fellow learners, as well as submit your assignment and other course requirements. The UPOU Networks is the online repository of multimedia resources produced by UPOU. It is intended to make learning more accessible to a larger community. Another part of the student services is the library. Library support provides you with access to electronic databases as well as access to physical books and resources. Now, let's focus on the student services provided by the Office of Student Affairs. 
The office provides information, advice, and guidance to students regarding their psychosocial, financial, emotional, and academic needs and concerns when studying at UPOU. The Office of the University Registrar is another office that will provide you with assistance from enrollment to graduation. It is responsible for student admissions to registration, grade reporting and transcript of records generation, and maintenance of academic records. Now, let's talk about your faculty offices. The Faculty of Education is one of the degree-granting units of the University of the Philippines Open University, mandated to offer degree programs in teacher training, design and deliver new programs that reflect the expertise of UPOU, and are responsive to teacher education needs. The unit aims to maintain a system of continuing education to sustain professional growth and promote lifelong learning to both degree and non-degree programs and instructional packages appropriate to distance learners. The Faculty of Information and Communication Studies is committed to advancing scholarship in information and communication studies in Southeast Asia by spearheading the evolution of an integrated information and communication science, developing innovative information and communication programs, trailblazing in research exploring the social impact of information and communication technology, piloting innovative applications of information and communication technologies, through a proactive extension program that would cater to the needs of the development assistance sector. The Faculty of Management and Development Studies is a collection of various disciplines spanning from health, to the environment, to management, and to the development studies. It deals with policy, program, and development concerns related to environment and natural resources management, land valuation, research and development, nursing, international health, social work, and public management. The other offices which may take part in your journey as a student are the Office of Gender Concerns and the Ognaya ng Pahinuwan. Again, welcome to UP Open University and good luck on your journey as a UPOU student. You got that right! UPOU never failed to surprise us with its innovative and savvy solutions for its students. Yes, but there might be some concerns that I need help with. Is there someone I can ask? Perfect, yes. UPOU recently implemented a help desk service that automatically responds to students' queries. It ranges from administrative to academic concerns. The UP Open University currently uses a ticketing system called the UPOU Help Desk to provide support to its stakeholders, the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the public. The UPOU Help Desk makes it easy for its users to get help or support. This system easily provides information you would find on the official UPOU website and microsites. Even without the help of a support staff, a UPOU stakeholder can get support through the UPOU Help Desk's support portal. This portal emphasizes self-help since anyone who visits the portal can look for answers to their questions or concerns without sending an email. Through the portal, they can browse through frequently asked questions or FAQs or other information relevant to the university. The portal and its contents save time for the users since they do not have to wait for answers, especially about general and simple questions. Stakeholders may still send inquiries through the support portal when they need more help. The UPOU Help Desk is feature-rich and easy to use. These are its main features. The knowledge base contains the solution articles about the necessary information needed by a stakeholder. Solution articles are grouped by topic to allow users to locate information more easily. Search bar. If unable to locate among the list of articles, users may search for their topic on the search bar. Find the title of the solution article that best fits your inquiry or concern. In case you can't find the right article, you can also try searching using different keywords related to your inquiry.
If you are reading a solution article, you will also see a list of suggested related articles on the right side of the page. These are very helpful, especially if you want to navigate through more articles. If the information needed is not on the UPOU help desk, stakeholders may send inquiries by filing a support ticket. Stakeholders can monitor their support tickets on the UPOU Help Desk by clicking on Check Ticket Status. UPOU Help Desk users can also engage in conversations with other stakeholders and UPOU support staff through community forums by posting topics on concerns, inquiries, or other related matters. We hope you'll find the UPOU Help Desk truly helpful. That's a relief. Help Desk to help us with our needs. Like you, Eliezer, who's been very helpful. Thank you, Pretty May. You've been a lot of help too. And I hope this helps many students in the future. Now, as we conclude the ceremony, May we now welcome Dr. Ria May Baromeo for her closing remarks. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoy the campus tour, learn about our student support services, and discovered more about our university. I also hope that you are all excited to begin your studies. Studying in the distance e-learning mode may be challenging, but it can also be very fulfilling. You'll get to experience firsthand how learning transcends physical spaces and geographical locations. See you soon in our virtual spaces. Should you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Once again, welcome to UPOU. What a day. Thank you, Aliazar. Thank you for helping me go through the entire orientation program. You did great too, Pretty May. It's always a pleasure to be of help. Keep in mind that in UPOU, we are one community. To formally conclude the event, we request a short pause for the singing of UP Naming Mahal. Again, maraming, maraming salamat, salamat at padayon. padayon.